hello all um, in this video uh, i would like to uh, draw the isometric uh, view for a mixture so this is problem number 11 and so this is what the given uh, isometric view of a mixture and same uh, image we need to uh, reconstruct by using the free can and these are the uh, dimensions given for this mixture so for that, we need to do some uh, small change in the in the working plane which we are we which we usually do. So create new file. Yeah. So make sure mode. Now, usually we just click the top surface and then we will be drawing the uh, the whatever the drawings given in the manual. So in this particular exercise, there is a small change. So that is first go to the current working plane. So click that. And here we'll get a, a small uh, pop up window, their working plane setup, asking to select a face on working plane proxy or three vertices so by default we'll be choosing the that is top plane that is x y so click that and then go to a view so here go to standard views and then go to the axonometric uh, option so after clicking this uh, arrow button you'll get three different options in that select the isometric view right so then automatically the uh, axis and this everything will be adjusted according to the our requirement yeah. now the base is uh, 300 cross 600 mm so this is the width and this is the uh, length which we have given in the manual uh, in our free cat so this is the x axis direction and the opposite direction is like the behind x that is y so select the rectangle option now uh, choose any uh, point on the working plane and then just give some a random dimensions there now give the global x and y value so that x is for us 300 mm and then y value is 600 mm and then enter so we'll get a, a closed uh, area now select that convert into wireframe mode and then do the usual things that is angle deflection one degree and deviation is 0 0.01 now we need to uh, make this the base okay the base of uh, thickness that is 225 mm so for that just if you if we Copy this and set it to a height of 225 mm, that's enough. So, for that, uh, select the rectangle, go to uh, move option. So, here, first click the click on the any point on this uh, rectangle, and then it will show the uh, direction in which we want to project so now give the length value as 225 mm now go to the uh, line option join these two corners again go to line join 
these two corners again line join these two corners so this uh, fourth corner it's invisible for us so we are not going to uh, draw or connect those two corners and then we'll uh, concentrate on this part so for that go to uh, line option draw midpoint of this edge to this edge so i'll connect the line yes yeah. now again go to a rectangle option so select like uh, draw a re, uh, like this square from this corner to this or just we are representing the same so this corner to this corner okay so we got a square here now convert this into a wireframe mode again the usual things that is angle uh, one degree zero point zero one now whatever the secondary like third rectangle which we have drawn now project that to a height of 225 so the total height is 450 and the base is 225 450 minus 225 Again, okay, we'll get the 225. So select that rectangle. So I'll select uh, any one edge. So, or else you can select here and go to uh, move option, click copy. So select uh, this uh, square and then give the uh, first of all make it to like perpendicular to that uh, plane and then give the length value 225 and then give enter so we get this now actually we have taken this as the base that is 300 cross 300 now if you look at the top dimension that is 200 mm so for our case we got 300 cross 300 now we want to reduce it to 200 okay so we need to reduce in uh, two ways that is uh, length and width so in both directions we have to reduce 50 and 50 offsetting so select this line, go to offset. First, if we go in this direction, it is setting in outer direction. Or else, if you project inside, we can uh, do the offset to the inside. So if we want to reduce the dimensioning, just project or offset towards inside and give the uh, distance is 50 mm and you enter so once finish with that so do not delete this uh, we require it for the dimension purpose so once if you get this we need to uh, join all the corner points for that go to uh, lines so give continue so this point to here this point to here this corner to corner then close now we need to uh, draw this hole so for that so go to line so first we'll get a diagonal so make sure that you are uh, drawing this offset square. 
so not the original square and now go to the circle option so choose the midpoint of the diagonal and then create a circle with radius as what is the question or dia is 100 so radius will be Do it. 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 Any one side to so project it or like perpendicularly, and the depth value is 150, and then give enter. Now we need to join the uh, like the edges. So go to line, so select this end point. this point so make sure that your uh, snap angle is on again so uh, line now uh, since the hole will be like it will be in in this uh, vertically it will be situated uh, if you look in this direction the hole is invisible so we need to represent with a dashed line. So select the line, circle, and line. So go to solid, from solid to dashed. So, so we get this as a dashed. Uh, so if you click the circle, then only we can able to see the, uh, like it's a dashed uh, line. So, but if you click outside, so it is coming out of that dashed option. So, while taking the uh, print or inverting PDF, so select the circle and then go to print PDF or export to PDF. Yeah. So, now we'll do this uh, diagonal. Now, we need to create the center for this circle. So for that, go to line. So, I'll take this end point, again, this point. So, so we got the uh, center for that. Now we'll do the alterations. Only we have to uh, make sure that only the visible edges are alone should be uh, made to visible. So now uh, if I click this, it means that entire rectangle is selected. Now I want to delete this uh, edge and this edge alone. So I need to uh, like, uh, make as an individual edges so for that we need to use the downgrade option so first select the line option so click the downgrade option first time and then again click second time then all the four edges are uh, now formed as the independent edges now we can do the alterations so i will you can delete this and delete this. Similarly, here also select this, downgrade it. You can remove this. And remove this. Again, okay. reconstruct this edge.
yeah so the uh, the drawing part is finished and then only the dimensioning is left so for that select this edge go to dimension do it again with this edge dimension give it here again select this height dimension give it so select this edge dimension give it now so if i look at here if i go to dimension if i look from this corner to this corner we are getting like aligned dimensions right so that's why we need to uh, keep this one so if i go to dimension i can straight away get the uh, linear dimension so once if you get this then you can delete this square okay so now we'll do the uh, necessary modifications so we should in point five extension in point five then font size five or seven show unit false so here we need to flip this text so and wherever it is necessary do we flip the text so here also select so this do uh, true yeah. so here i think we need uh, Shooters zero. No one point. Now we need to uh, represent this uh, whole. So for that, go to the option called label. Now select uh, any point on the periphery of this circle. So, projected it some distance and then stop it there represented with some text so we need to edit that so click on the dimension so we'll go to data so here under the label we have custom text in that just expand this uh, uh, text edit option can change the text that is uh, dia 100 and then uh, depth 40. okay so change the text height Now you can give it text spacing. So with that, uh, the uh, ISO metric view is finished.
uh, here you need not to uh, like draw the rectangle and then in export to PDF, you can just uh, export as it is. So, but uh, don't forget to click this and then do the export PDF option. Thank you. Hello everyone, greetings. Hope you all safe and fine. So this is the recording video which makes you to understand the stepwise procedure to draw the given isometric view of an object to three views of orthographic views. Three views in the sense front view, top view and right side view. So the stepwise procedure is also given in the shared manual. So I'll be taking you to the stepwise procedure to follow the procedure given in the manual to draw in free CAD software. I hope you have opened the free CAD software. So once opened as given in the procedure so change a required setting or make the setup required as per your preference in the edit preference option under the general and draft workbench requirements study the isometric uh, view of the given object and understand the details carefully right and an isometric view shows three actually perpendicular planes that is left and right so now we are going to draw three different views so first step is ensure the draft the workbench is by default or you can choose to draft mode then choose the new file you can change the background in the previous exercise i kept as white background so you can keep it as the required one if any Panels or bars are not visible. You can click by enabling the required panels and toolbars. Right. So uh, this is the one will be given in an exam also as a question. So for the given isometric view, we need to draw three different views. So you can see the problem need to be start from the friend view. So wherever the uh, arrow marks is being given in the isometric view that is referred as friend view right so we need to draw the friend view then top view and of uh, right side view so we are following first angle projection so when you go to left hand side whatever is visible in the left hand that need to be uh, mentioned as right side view right so right side view, left hand side view, hope uh, you have understood in your theory uh, classes, right? So you can see this diagram is drawn to the left of the friend view, but is mentioned as right side view, right? So that is as per the first angle projection. Now let's start with, so it is not required in this exercise number 12, it is not required to draw the isometric view we need to only draw the orthographic view right so let me start with the friend view so first we need to draw this particular part right so what i am doing here is let's we start with the friend view i am taking the lion then have a lion for so start Everything always from the origin, 0, 0, 0, enter, enter, right, make the length as 108. It depends, so we can even uh, start with 88, 88 mm.
right now we got 88 mm of lion then this 12 mm height need to be drawn so ensure this endpoint snap is in on mode it should be of 12 mm then from this 12 you can have a length of 44 44 Ensure this line is 88. Initially, I made a 2 uh, 88. So, first line should be of this is 88 length. This is 12 mm. This is 44. As you can see, that in the front view, it has been shown as 44. So, the same 44 here. Then, from that, I need to draw this length. So how much this length it is 56 which length i just show here so this this length need to be drawn so the total height i can see that is 56 56 minus 12 so 44 can have a line or 44 So once you finish that 44, then now you can extend uh, this is 32, you need to show how much this is. So this is of 32 as you can see in this front view, 44, 32. So this, this length is. 32 so from here i need to draw 32 i'm just taking a line and marking it 32 then from that again drop down to 32 ensure this plus option has been enabled in order to have a perpendicular line 32 So after this 32, you can see we are here at this particular area. So this 32, so this length is 12 as you can see in the top view. So from that 12 need to be drawn. 12 mm. That is finished. From that, we need to close this part. I'm closing this area. So from here, we need to draw another line. So in this uh, manual, they have given 108 is a total length, and this is uh, 88. So 20 is the difference. So we can have a line for 20 mm. And this length need to be known of. So you can see they have given in the top view as six. So this is the six mm length so draw a line for 6 mm and connect these two right so with that you can see almost uh, the front view is get over so now i am not going to draw this dotted lines why because this we need to project the dotted lines from the bottom circle Right, so we proceed to draw now uh, the top view, and then from top view, we can project this line to get the dotted lines. So, what I'm going to do now is start drawing the friend uh, top view. One minute. So here, uh, parallelly, you can refer the manual in order to 
start drawing the things. So now I start with uh, here. So you take some distance of line and they can uh, delete it later. There must there should be some gap between to show uh, the front and top view. So this total length is 44. Uh, you can add up 44 plus 32 plus 12. But we need a line, uh, a marking point to differentiate. So that's why as per given in the question, I am taking 44 mm length of line. You can use the continue option also. So from 44, 32, next line, 32, next is 12. From 12, as given in this, we can either draw this way. It is of 20. You can delete this line. Hereafter, this line is not required. And here, again, this length, this length is 44. Again, from 44, we need to draw this way down. So this is the total they have given us 64. I can show the PDF. So this is 64. I need to draw this line, which means this line. Hope you can able to see the marker point what I'm showing. So this is 64 minus 20. Right. So 64 minus 20. This is of 44 M. Take a line and draw for 44 mm. So once you've done that, next uh, this line need to be close to here. You can refer the manual PDF. It is being given as 32. So here I enter 32 line. So now we can join this 32 bottom part to this part. From this, we need to draw 20 mm. So it's all basically only by using the line option and the curve. So here 6. So from 6, I should draw. Here also six. Here also twelve. From here it is again twelve. So here it again twenty. So twenty. This way is also again six. You can even do the like because it is looks like a symmetric object to this part you can try with uh, other options of mirror also right so now this part is pending so you can have a line from here and you can intersect from this point so for this ensure this this particular uh, snap perpendicular is in on thereby you can intercept with a projected line from the front view so you can delete this as i quoted earlier there are many ways to draw this it depends how you uh, draw this then once you uh, it is almost over you can see almost it is done with a top view now uh, let's we need to draw the arc like this arc you can see this arc need to be with a r20 radius of 20 so for that we must know the midpoint of that so what i'm doing is let me take a, a line to draw from the midpoint of this so for this you can see at the top i have enabled the snap midpoint in on mode so now it will be easy to draw a line from here and you can check this is the um midpoint so you can even 
change this way uh, this point as the other uh, type of like instead of solid you can make it as dash dot also right now with this center i need to draw on uh, either you can draw arc arc you just pick this point and it will be asking for radius in that radius give us 20 it's asking for start angle make that as 90 aperture angle as 180 then you'll be getting like this right so uh, now this part uh, part of this line need to be shown with dotted line so i'm changing this line deleted the previous line and i'm just showing this line as uh, from changing from solid to dash dot and connecting the other two points so remember the circle i have uh, arc i have made with uh, start angle as start angle as 90 degree and aperture angle 180 degree like just solid into dash dot now almost uh, except the texturing except the texting and uh, dimensions uh, the front and top views gets over now let's move to draw the right side view right you can see that in pdf i need to draw this right side view so right side view we need to take that base uh, as from the from the top view so i am drawing uh, some taking some distance from the line so this line as you know we can delete it later right. we can delete all these lines Right, so I have taken this line. So this is the line width of dimension 56, right? Because we have taken this total length. As we know, the total length is 56. You can see the tot we have taken from here. So this total is 32 plus 24, 56. Or other way, it is also being with 56. Now. Uh, can go this way like next day i have given us to draw 12 mm i enter 12 mm the same thing like you can take the option so if you make this tick box as continue you need not to take every time the same line tool so you can proceed with the same so next after 12 i have drawn the line for 40 then again 12 ensure the plus which means this perpendicular snap is or ortho snap is in on mode and this should be 12 and uh, from here i need to draw for 56 mm next 56 and from here you can straight away close this but uh, as you see we need to draw this arc right so for this arc, we are in need of some midpoints and all. So that's why instead of straight away joining these two points, I'm drawing part by part 20, 24, then connecting, right? So from here, you can take point for length of length, the line for a length of 20. And from 20, it should be 24. Separately, I'm taking and then you can connect. So once you've done this, uh, you can see that this line need to be drawn. Like so, this height is nothing but this 24. So I need to draw a line for the height of 24. So you can even overwrite this line, no issue. Have <coughs> for 24 maybe uh, if it is not coming with 24 uh, if you are not able to see this 24 mm line you can delete the previous line and then you can connect this perpendicular symbol now uh, you need to connect you can connect this later 
prepared earlier it was of total length of 56 i have deleted that and uh, for this purpose of drawing 24 mm then now i already created this line right so for this only for getting this 20 and separate lines of height i have drawn now you can see if it is earlier connected from through a single line this will not be seen you can see the end point will not be seen here so for that only i have separately drawn all the points all the points in the sense all the individual 20 24 length of lines now you can see everything is being get connected now in the top also i have connected i have drawn separately this 12 mm right if it is fully connected i am not able i may not able to of course i am not able to pick this point of end point for 12 mm on both the sides so that's why i have separately drawn that so now it's almost over uh, with the right side view only the thing is we need to draw now with the um, this arc right which arc i show you here right this arc need to be made right so for this arc finally uh, check it out we need to extend a few lines and we need to delete after some time so what you can do is you can pick this point and draw a perpendicular line from here and uh, right now uh, we can take check with three point uh, three arc points so first arc is this point next you can see there is a midpoint is being shown here right so that midpoint and another midpoint should be here right so here i am not able to see the midpoint so what i am supposed to do is uh, you can see uh, even if i go in when zoom board i am not able to pick that so i should uh, escape from this and uh, which means i need to escape from the current drawn tool line now we can connect this separately now if you check with this arc you can pick the three points here now we can see the midpoint now it is visible right that's it so now we can i i can do once again that way you can understand what i have exactly uh, carried out right i delete this line so i have drawn this line separately and third taken the arc by three points pick the first point you can see i have picked the first point second point is nothing but this midpoint of this line and third point is the newly drawn line which of this one so then you'll be getting this now you can delete this particular line which is not required and you can connect this right and you know it should not be of a solid line so we can change it to uh, dashed line right i repeat uh, there is a issue in this or bug in the python code as even though if you change it from solid to dashed line this arc uh, sometime will not be able to see in a dashed line so before when you convert to pdf kindly click this line and then convert then it will be obviously looks like um, uh, dotted lines so one thing is left out here is uh, we need to draw this particular line right this dotted lines we have not finished as i quoted during the initial stage we need to take projection from this of uh, top view of an arc and then we need to draw so now we already finished the top view so we can uh, we can just project the line from this midpoint so you can see ensure uh, this option is get enabled the option is called snap angle should be on thereby this point or midpoint should be on and you can connect to this top point right so once you connected and now you can join with this base right you can even after delete it because this much length is not required or you can use the trim option also no issue now you can change the solid option of these two into so now it is in solid you can make into dash length 
now you can see the dash line has come up so in this uh, see this without clicking this this is looking perfectly as dash line whereas this one is not looks even though it has been changed the property of the line from solid to dotted it is still it looks like a solid line so as i quoted once you convert this diagram to pdf or export to pdf kindly pick this or click this and then convert then the end object would be looks like a dotted one or else it will be a looks like a solid line alone so almost we are get it done now let's proceed to uh, show over the dimensions right so we can uh, start with a friend view how much this yeah click the line and then click it is showing us on particular line right uh, we can change the total length uh, in afterwards like so our, i show you how to change so make sure it is in uh, so extend extension it can be of three overshoot can be of three flip arrows is there and text dimension you can mention as three so now it is seeing 80 but it's showing with uh, dimension so make that uh, show unit to false mode so 88 is comes so now in order to show that 108 line see here is the I mentioned as 108 but we have separately drawn that so you can do the picking of points and then check it out so this point you pick and this one and you can see how much it is so i'm just making to three so 108 i'm coming i repeat what i done uh, just undoing pick the text uh, option uh, sorry text it's not a text option pick the dimension option and then pick the two endpoints then once you down it you can see so change the font size into three you can change the extension line as three overshoot extension overshoot is also three um the text is showing with so show test convert to from uh, true to false now you can see it is showing with 108 right if you feel the text is too small you can even change into from three to five right we can see i have changed now the rest of things can be given right pick this so you need not to change from from first point right once you uh, taken all the dimension you can see what i am doing here uh, i have taken three points then all the three has been uh, chosen in the same way then i am changing to 5 mm all the things are getting changed right so the show unit make it as false extension so the easier way is you can uh, make all the dimension and then you can connect see is showing with 32 24 12 has been made then uh, next one is uh, what is left one is 76 is being that you can see 32 i made 24 108 74 is left out so now we can show the 72 So for this, um, what I'm doing is, let me draw a line from here. So take dimension, pick this point and this point. We can delete this line for the purpose of dimension we have taken the diagram uh, true drawing of true lines extension 
of that should be the unit should be in false mode. Okay. Let's see that we're getting correct points. Twenty six mm, we achieved thirty two. So whatever is being given in this uh, question as uh, for the orthographic view dimensions in the front view, we have finished. Now let's move on to provide the dimension for the top view. Right? You can fast forward this if you are well aware of all these things. The recording purpose I am doing all these charts once again. Right? Uh, so one point I insist here, the 108 is here. So if you feel uh, all this, there is no space uh, for giving dimension and all, you can pick all this point by using the control option. You can move the total image to a lower distance. I'm just moving, use the pick option. Uh, option now you can see we have just moved it other required space so we can uh, take this I'm just doing quite faster away because we are well aware of all these things Now, uh, moving fast forward, I'm not uh, like making everything, uh, changing dimension of each and every. I'm just, uh, I'll be doing the changing of required height and everything, required uh, overshow dimension, overshow text size in a later part. Uh, all together. So you can see, I can see in this uh, combo view tree model. I'm just picking all the dimension I have made for. So now I'm totally changing and the extension line is three, overshoot as three, zero. So show unit as false, dimension as five. Right. Uh, then text to flip to Can, uh, so if you find the no space is properly given or visible to make the dimension, you can pick all this top view. And you can move to a lower distance. So for this, ensure you have uh, pick or clicking the control button in your keyboard. And pick everything and uh, off, use the option move and then click somewhere in the diagram and then go down. Right now, uh, you can give the dimension. Pick the dimension here. Pick the line and then you can give the dimension. Line pick and dimension tool is pick.
and all together i can uh, change the dimension on size i'm giving as five show unit change to false and dimension over support extension line can be of three okay, so once you've done this now you can come to this to part of dimension you can change accordingly show unit false text file or shoot of extension and extension lines can be three this uh, uh, this text you should uh, flip it to the other side so you can go to the text and flip the text 20 you can see the difference from the before on this one now this one is uh, we can we need to change the six, six should be visible so you can flip the arrow also one one uh, can flip the arrow that way the arrow comes outside right and the text can be given to small part dimension should be in off mode dimension means dimension unit so now as i quoted you can use the label for this instead of uh, diameter you can mention that as label so go to view from view to go to the data and make the text as r20 So once you've done that, uh, let's move on to provide a dimension for the right hand side. Right, so picking this, then total height, they are given as 56, so that need to be chosen. Empty this dimension, 24 it should be. Then I am choosing the tool and then picking this one this two points then we'll be getting this then the top to be picked so line picked and then i have uh, chosen the two so the two ways of doing that either you can choose the tool and then pick the points two points or you can choose the line and then uh, uh, use the two so for this now i am for the top i am changing the on size that should be flipped to the top extension ahead or shoot then you can use this you can change the property of this one unit should be false text should be of five then extension line 3 or show 3 that's this one unit should not be visible then we can flip the text to the other side extension line something over shoulder so everything is almost over you can uh, change this to diameter also no pops no problem so we can check this unit we have false one font and just yes i am guessing can be you can change the text text from micro to this way flip test to true so we can see it is of 41 so this R can be of 40 mm or 
you can show in diameter or as given in the question as r20 so no issue so once you finish your diagram we you can go to edit preference and uh, the display you can change the color to simple thereby your background will be of quite good you can see um it is of uh, white background and black colored dimensions now we need to make a text for this so you can create a text okay. right so once you created even if you want to move that you can create and then you can move here then another text to mention the top view the tool to be used is uh, with the mentioned as a change of font size to the required one so top view and finally you can make side view font size should be a fine right so once you finished everything Uh, now as i quoted we are going to convert this into pdf or export to pdf right for that i please request you to pick this line and then export to pdf pick this uh, yeah you can also um, make the dimension text dimension test as all dimension drawing okay mom should be is also to be created right. so everything is done now and now export to pdf let me check what i'm getting in the pdf version so you can see i'm just sharing that file also So everything is get enabled so see here um, the arc is not i have clicked like i have not clicked that then that's why it is not coming so i am going back to the free cat now i am picking this and then i am converting to export pdf so uh, in between the video i was intentionally do some mistakes in order to uh you need to find uh, where the people can do the mistakes and get it done with a proper way so now you can see this is clearly uh, seen as uh, invisible so you can even change the uh, uh, black color and uh, see there is visibility of green color one so that also you can change uh, using the view uh, edit preferences you can change that in the display color right once you change this color you can get that into different way so the end result should be of this pdf version with that note i finish this particular recording for the exercise number 1 thank you all the best good day to you